So if you follow my boy Andy Ruiz, the former WBO, IBF, and WBA Unified Heavyweight Champion of the World, if you follow him on social media, he recently posted this up. It's basically a fan-made poster of him and Deontay Wilder with the caption that reads, and I quote, it reads, it's coming. It's coming. Hashtag Primo Dios. Uh, I thought that was like a hint of, <laughs> I thought it was a, a hint of like when he's going to announce it or something. So I Googled it. Now, mind you, I don't speak Spanish. Uh, so I Googled it and it translates to God first. And I was like, of course. I mean, uh, Primero, was that like n number one or first? And Dios is like Jesus or God. So I was like, what am I thinking? It's like a hint. Why am I thinking it's a hint of when the fight is going to get announced? I don't know. I got a little too excited, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, Andy Ruiz versus Deontay Wilder. I think it's a very good fight. Um, I hope it happens. I hope it happens soon. Hopefully next year. Uh, if you guys don't know, I, I made a video about it not long ago as well. Uh, you know, that the WBA, I mean, the WBC... Uh, the World Boxing Council plans to order this fight. As you guys can tell uh, by the tweet from Michael Benson, uh, it will be officially ordered by the WBC. And it makes sense. This is the only fight that makes sense right now. I mean, if you look at the division right now, the heavyweight division, we have Uzik who holds the ring magazine belt. If you guys didn't know, Fury vacated it. Um, Wilder is now number one, by the way. Number one by the, by the ring magazine. They took out Tyson Fury. Um, but anyway, Tyson Fury is still the champion for the WBC. Uzik holds all the other three belts. WBA, IBF, WBO. The belts that Andy Ruiz used to hold. So with this guy's busy with Fury fighting Chisora and Uzik pretty much waiting for that fight to, to finish. Uh, because Uzik plans to fight Fury for all the belts. You know, who else is there available? Um, and a fight between Ruiz and... And Wilder is the one that makes sense. It really doesn't make sense. It, it makes sense a lot uh, because both guys fight under PBC. Both guys fight under the PBC banner. Uh, both fights have the same manager of Al Heyman uh, or are associated with Al Heyman. So it, it's the only fight that makes sense. And right now, I'm hearing a lot of rumors and a lot of stuff being said on social media that PBC doesn't have the money anymore to fund these fighters like they used to. Um... That pretty much PBC is dying. That's why you see fighters like Terence Crawford, who uh, signed with BLK promotion or BLK Prime uh, to fight David Avenition instead. And we have Adrian Broner, who recently signed with BLK Prime, you know, leaving PBC. So you know, it, it signs that it's not looking good for PBC with all their fighters also fighting once a year. With a lot of their fighters fighting once a year, it's a, like indication that maybe they're struggling to fund and find the money for all these fighters that they have under the PBC banner. Uh, now, nothing has been officially been said yet, but, you know, that's what's being said on, on the internet. But a fight between Wilder and Andrew Ruiz would sell. I mean, right now, uh, I mean, recently, Wilder recently fought against uh, Robert Hellenius. Now, it tanked. A lot of people didn't buy that fight. It was 75,000 pay-per-view buys. It was bad. But a fight with Ruiz, in my opinion, would be a much bigger fight because we have a Mexican here in Ruiz, a Mexican-American who attracts the, Amer the Mexican-Americans to buy the pay-per-view. Now, I remember years ago, years and years ago, there was a study done or some something. There was an article that I came across where the majority of the pay-per-view buys that people buy here in the United States of America, the majority are bought by Mexican-Americans or Me Americans of Mexican descent. And Ruiz has a big following of that after defeating Joshua. And people would tune in to, in a big fight, a big heavyweight fight between Wilder and Ruiz. I think a lot of people would tune in to buy this one. Heck, I'd buy this one. So, I know, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that we see this fight. And hopefully, hopefully it is coming soon. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.